Hey guys, this is going to be a what I eat in a day video, right the way from morning until night. It's my most requested video at the moment, so I'm really excited to film this for you guys. It is going to be fairly healthy, but with some naughty treats, and it's all gluten free because I'm celiac. So I love to start the day with some cereals or granola, and I struggle to buy this from supermarkets because a lot aren't gluten free. So I'm just going to make my own using gluten free oats, some sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, olive oil, maple syrup, ground cinnamon, ground nutmeg, salt and vanilla extract and then you need to preheat the oven. I am going to put all the ingredients and instructions in the info bar below. So you need to mix together all the dry ingredients. Guys, this granola is so easy to make and so tasty and if you want to mix up the seeds because you like different seeds or spices, just try out what you like best but I love this one and then add the maple syrup, olive oil and vanilla extract and you should end up when you've mixed it with something that looks like this and then put it in anything that you can put in the oven. So a tray or I have this heart dish which is super cute. I've had it for a few years now. I can't even remember where I got it but I just love baking everything in it. Put it in the oven for 15 minutes. While I'm doing that, here's a little bit of what B eats in a day. It's treat time in the morning and she's having her doggy treats by Biscuiteers. These are actually really nice. She is quite fussy with food, but these taste of cheese and chive. And I love these ones because they donate part of what they make to the Dogs Trust, which is so, so cute. So take this out of the oven and then stir it up a little bit because you want to make sure that it's all cooked through and then pop it back in the oven. So whilst that's in the oven for the next 10 minutes, I just take the time to take any vitamins or supplements and at the moment I'm taking the Clean Marine Krill Oil. Now these are meant to reduce any symptoms of PMS, so when you're having your period. I've been taking this for about three months now. You just take two in the morning and I've noticed a massive difference in terms of cravings, my skin, I'm sleeping a lot better. It just has things in like omega-3 and rosemary oil and these are really, really good at kind of nourishing you and reducing all those horrible horrible things you get at that time of the month. And then, of course, I'm making my tea. This is the Bluebird Tea Red Velvet. It actually tastes like a red velvet cupcake. Loose leaf tea is my favourite, but it does take a little longer to make, so I pop it in the teapot in one of my make your own tea bags, which is very useful because it saves you cleaning the teapot out. And then with the gluten-free granola, I'm actually going to put this in a little pot because you're making way more than you would eat in breakfast in the morning. So I put it in a really cute pot and I label it just so everybody in the house knows it's Becky's gluten-free special granola. So then it's time for me to pop the extras on top. I'm just taking some yogurt. I love Greek yogurt, especially in the summertime. And then I'm actually putting on some cocoa nibs. These are really high in antioxidants. They're a really good substitute for pure chocolate. They're actually by Salva. I've got a couple of these bags of bits and bobs, which you'll see later in this video, but they are so tasty. And as I said, much better than chocolate, but they really fulfill my craving. How cute is this heart spoon? My friend Charlotte bought me this. It's so sweet. I usually use it for tea. It's very impractical for breakfast, but I just think it's so sweet. And then I have really ridiculously milky tea in the morning. I just love it. After I've had my breakfast, I do like to prep my lunch, usually because I'm too busy in the day to do it. So I'm going to do a salad, which is really high in antioxidants. And you're going to need some quinoa, some water and some salt, first of all. Bring the quinoa to the boil and then you just want to fluff it a little bit with a fork, put it to the side to cool. And then you need to pan heat some sliced almonds. Be careful not to burn them. For the dressing, you're going to need some lemon zest, mustard, pepper, olive oil, some lemon juice and some honey. Mix it all together and then I put it in a little container until I'm ready to serve it. Otherwise the salad gets too soggy so pop it in something until you're ready. And then I'm actually going to be using baby spinach. This is really good for again high in antioxidants and it tends to give me quite a lot of energy. I'm actually using strawberries which I know this sounds weird but strawberries are one of my favourite things in a salad because I usually hate salads and then I'm using goat's cheese as well. So I have to make salads really interesting because otherwise I find them really boring. I'm gonna pop it in a sandwich box because I'm taking this out with me for the day. Mix all the ingredients together and then just put that goat's cheese on the top. Oh my, this tastes amazing, it's so good. I'm actually going out cycling for the day. I'm making the most of the sunshine. I live in the countryside in Nottinghamshire, so I love getting out and about on my little Pashley bike and Bee has joined me for lunch. 
I don't think she's loving the salad as much as I am, but it's so tasty. And then I have these protein coconut energy balls. These are really easy to make and much better than just having a chocolate bar. So you need some dates, some chia seeds, cocoa powder, flaked coconut and some coconut oil, which I already rave about the benefits for beauty and health of coconut oil. And then I'm using the Selva chia seeds. These are really high in fiber and protein if you wanna get that in your diet as well. You put it all in a blender and mix it together that is how easy this is to make <laughs> and you'll end up with something like this I actually find it much easier to put in the freezer for 10 minutes to work with otherwise it's a little bit too sloppy and sticky and then you want to put out some of that coconut that's flaked roll this into balls so make little balls in your hand and then just roll it around on the flaked coconut I love coconut if you don't love it so much you can just get some more cocoa powder and roll the balls in the cocoa powder and then put them in the fridge Honestly, when you try these, you will honestly love them. I just can't tell you how good they are. I tried them at my friend Charlotte's house and I've been making them ever since. And then tonight I'm gonna make some pizza but with a flour alternative using cauliflower, ground almonds, oregano, eggs, and then everything that you wanna put on top. So get rid of the leaves and the stalks and blend the cauliflower up. Once you've done that, put it in a bowl and microwave it. This cooks the cauliflower, it's gonna make it much easier to work with. When it's been in the microwave, you need to put it on a clean tea towel and squeeze out all the moisture. This is really important, otherwise you're gonna end up with a soggy, wet pizza. Mix that together with the eggs, the oregano, and the ground almonds, and then make sure you season it really well. And this is gonna be the base of your pizza. I find it really hard to use gluten-free flour, so I'm really trying to find alternatives to flour, and I found cauliflower is actually a really healthy and good way um, to make pizza. So put a little bit of a crust on, bake it, and then just put anything you want on top. So I'm doing tomato, some mozzarella, and then I'm gonna put some ham on the top. If you're a vegetarian though, I was thinking you could put baked aubergine on the top of this, and that would taste delicious. In fact, I wish I'd added that on the top of this, now I'm saying it, but I am gonna put a little bit of spinach again, so I've got really loads of antioxidants through the day and some parmesan cheese which is a little bit naughty but you can't have pizza without parmesan this is such a good alternative to pizza and then for dessert I'm making gluten-free brownies again without the flour so dark chocolate some nuts butter ground almonds sugar eggs and vanilla extract again I really don't want to work with gluten-free flour so I'm using ground almonds instead and I find they actually work better so I'm gonna melt the butter and the chocolate let it cool for a little while and then add the vanilla extract and the sugar and then make sure that's all stirred in this is a little bit naughty but these brownies are so worth it and if you put them in the fridge or the freezer they last a long time as well then I'm going to pour in the eggs which have been whisked up and the ground almonds I get through so many ground almonds at the moment but they're so good for baking and cooking and then I'm going to add some nuts I've added hazelnuts but whatever your favorite nuts are bung them in and then put them in an oven dish it is so delicious as I'm saying this I literally want to jump through the screen and eat this again because it was so tasty I can smell it let it completely cool after it's baked I drain off any excess butter and just put it in the fridge to cool because it is quite hard to work with when it comes out straight away and I'm just gonna serve this with some yogurt again to be a little bit healthier than ice cream oh my heavenly heaven this is just so yummy and then I'm gonna end the day with some mint tea which really helps my digestive system and just get everything through I would love to know if you guys try these recipes tweet me at talk Becky talk I really want to see on Instagram or Twitter if you try any of these and if you're new to my channel or you've been here before but just forgot to subscribe I upload beauty and lifestyle videos every week so hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me if you head on over to my channel bye guys